Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a good day to live and glorify God. And let us hear what God has to speak to us this morning before we begin our activities. In our meditation last time um I read the two passages from the gospel. The gospel according to St John chapter 13 verse 36. and also from mark chapter 14 verses 29 to 31 now here peter thought he was ready to die with christ but jesus told him peter you are going to deny me three times before the rooster crows twice and peter said no all these fellows who may do it leave you and run away but not i and here the first thing last week we meditated on the good qualities of peter peter showed some remarkable spiritual power he gave up all to follow christ He readily obeyed Christ when he said at thy word we will cast the net and then he was a man of faith as he walked on the troubled water you remember Jesus walked through over the waters of, which was stricken by a heavy uncontrollable storm and the waves were rising and uh, it was early morning like 4 o'clock and and the disciples were rowing the boat and they could not control it and uh, they, they they and Jesus was not with them but then suddenly they saw Jesus coming walking over the same troubled waters and Jesus cried uh, and Peter said Jesus if you if it is you then allow me to come to you and jesus said come and he jumped into the same water and he walked and he walked almost came close to jesus suddenly he took his eyes off from jesus and uh, look at the waves and storms and everything and he began to drown and you know the story so that is he is a man of faith and he walked he is the only human being who walked all, all over the troubled waters um uh, after jesus christ now he also had a spiritual insight when he confessed when jesus asked who do you say that i am he is the first one to speak and said you are the christ the son of god that was a spiritual insight given to him by god the father But then today's meditation has to do with what was the problem why he he, he Peter who had all these wonderful qualities i just mentioned uh, failed at the most crucial time you know it means one can possess all these spiritual qualities and yet to fail at the most crucial time So what was Peter's problem at the most crucial time of Jesus when he needed the disciples closer to him nobody was there and uh, Peter denied as Jesus predicted three times before the rooster crows twice so where where did all his self confidence uh, all this uh, courage statement go even if all leave I shall never leave you. What was the problem with him? There were three problems. All three has to do with self. Number one problem was self-will. And when Jesus told these disciples what was going to happen to him in Jerusalem, he was going to be arrested, he was going to be tortured, he was going to be uh, be beaten up and and uh, persecuted and then crucified and he was going to die and on the third day he was going to rise again 
and immediately when peter heard this what did he see what was his response he said that be far from the lord what does that mean peter simply could not consent to christ's death why he says you shall you 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 you, you don't speak what you are speaking now it should not happen to you that is self will you know he was trying to and uh, to impose uh, his will upon jesus you shall and another point another place where he was trying to impose his own will was in john's gospel chapter 13 verses 6 to 8 where they were sitting in the upper room the last time for the observance of passover supper and you remember jesus was washing the disciples feet and he came to peter and suddenly he said peter said no you shall never wash my feet you shall never wash my feet what that is what is that he just simply could not consent to christ ministry to him that was a problem and he was trying to impose his own will and the second thing has to do with the self seeking and of course those who are self willed they also will have this problem self seeking in matthew chapter 19 verse 27 and if you if you read this passage peter is saying here master we left everything in order to follow you what will i get he was trying to seek something for himself self seeking and the third problem was self confidence though all will deny you forsake thee i will not i will follow you everywhere i will die for you what is that self confidence and many people suffer losses because of their self confidence many people lose their examination they expected to get to first rank but he failed and there's many fail in their business many jumping into starting some business and they have they were so confident that they know how to do and how not to do and so self confidence can cause your distraction so beware of it peter had a terrible fall it took that fall for him to learn a lesson that i do not know myself but jesus knows me better than i know myself my friends we all can suffer losses if we build up our self confidence in ourselves or self seeking what can we get how can we be profited by jesus it is always me 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 how can i be blessed and always remember this lesson our self confidence our self seeking habit our self will can all so many times can lead us to our fall you know if you think of job's suffering in that story you will find one very important lesson job's sufferings brought out the real job and the real mrs job 
what was the real job our sufferings very often brings not often always brings out what we are inside of us which we don't reveal to others jobs of suffering our suffering sometimes cause us to curse god and that was mrs job so the sufferings of job revealed both job and job's wife job was saying blessed be god who gave us everything and in his own time will he took us away blessed be his name and my friends always remember this and have a great positive attitude you must be humble enough to admit that you don't know everything about yourself but god knows be humble before god it is only by his grace we can stand in our own strength and confidence we will fail let this lesson be a lesson for you today and always have a good day and may the lord's blessing be upon you as you live for christ and glorify him amen